Choi Gaochoi single hand technique. It's mainly utilizing the back of the fist, going low and then going high, and being on a 45 degree angle to move an air. It can move straight over the top, but sometimes at the beginning, you need to create space for yourself. So you, again, sink, catching the back fist. You don't always have to hold it tight, just create the shape, which create, which Again, with your mind and your thumb, create the power and your say. So as you move. One hand up, one hand down. So catch, roll over the top, catch, catch. They emphasize this quite a lot and they're sinking. Sink, stand up. One hand up, one hand down, one hand in, one hand out. The rule to protect yourself very cleanly and very nicely. So we're gonna train that on the hand pad now. So we're gonna move out, one hand down, over the top. You're moving into the groin and then half the back fist down onto the nose and move it to the groin. Lay. Lay it on. Use your side. Controlling right is Joy Gao Joy. Joy Gao Joy. Remember all these movements, there's a lot more movements in the technique and the jong. These are the ones that you train to condition your hand. Is it? Back fist. Over the top. One to the groin, one to the nose. You can always finish your jongs and train all your techniques in the fighting combination on the bag. For the understanding of the technique, this is one of the favourites. Nice and sharp, and move. So when you meet ace, strike down, change, and finish. So by the time you move, the hand is already gone. Shank, hot strike. Attack, attack, move, hunch to the groin. When they go down, you come up. Here, both feet again, chain, and hit. You can du double, down. You can no just move in here. You can just attack with it. They can, if they attack you, you move in. Drop here. Ah. If they attack, yeah, yeah, you go in. Move the head. Come in. Move. Fall back over. What the Paytan is doing is just connecting the shoulder, hand, and the elbow. So it's creating it like a three sectional staff. So when we move in, we come down here, up, they push out, you move out, 
He and me mean. He direct for me back over. So it's not creating one big bar to change in the middle to react. You know what I mean? Drop back over this way. Drop over this way. Move, chain, fold. Most people don't block as many times as you give them the opportunity to. Because when you move, it's gone. The idea is to finish. Again, if they come in to attack, you're going to move here. You're going to take that here. Or the other one, if they come in, it's like move, spinning back fist. But I don't like to spin in back fist because I never like to turn my back on anything. Because the minute you turn your back, you're going to go in. Because that's what we train to do, we train to go forward. I'm not trying to turn around. Unless you're skateboarding or snowboarding or motorbike riding and going off big jumps. And you turn, twist and look so you can create your landing. When you're fighting, you just attack. Keep your head forward. Here, up. There might be another one here. There might be multiple opponents here, but you try not to turn your back. Is your peripheral vision. When you're fighting, move into a space where no one can attack you from behind. Create your awareness. So if you want to grade with this job, pops out, man, strike in the back fist here. Get your opponent to block down with the other hand and come up. Step with the foot to bend. Lock of the hand, gouge off. Yeah. The other person, start to utilize your technique of dump pox out. So we ah, dump pop. Change. In comes out. In. Douse out. In comes out. Hard hands out. There's nothing is set in concrete. This again is just a stepping stone for you of the belt and the level. Because in reality, a belt is designed to hold your pants up. A colour is only as good as a rainbow to make another colour. But what you want to do is train yourself very proficient in all the levels because you are your own master. And the colour is just a guideline. Enjoy it. Thank you.